Today, we're taking a look at an EDC cable called the InCharge 6, and this thing claims to be the Swiss Army knife of cables. As a bonus, I'm also going to share with you the best portable charging battery that I've been using to pair with this cable for the last one year. And although this cable's been part of my EDC for over a year, I only just found a brand new feature that I didn't even know about. So let's take a look at the box to find out what that is. And just before we do guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our next EDC review. The marketing of this EDC cable is honestly really clever. You can tell that by transforming between different adapters, this thing has the ability to charge in six different ways, making it the Swiss Army knife of cables. But let's find out how large and in charge this cable really is. It would appear they've used only the highest quality materials for this cable, and also it's not just for charging, this is also a data transfer cable as well, which is just incredible. So let's have a look at the six different options. Now here's the part that I could not believe when I figured it out today. This lightning port is also a micro USB port. So let's take a closer look. Let's open up the InCharge 6 and see how that's even possible. We have USB and USB-C on the outside, but when we open up the magnet and look at the lightning tip, have a look at that. It has got the internal pins to also be a micro USB cable, which is absolutely incredible. So just before we get into the bonus and I show you the charging tests with this thing, let's talk about the one reason this is a great item for everyday carry. And that's what's advertised on the box that this makes a great keyring companion. So as you can see, they've just hooked it over their keys and also on the inside, they've heavily implied that this should be stored on your keychain. And in my experience, this claim is absolutely correct. You really can carry this as part of your everyday carry on your keys, given the quality of the magnets and materials, I'm very confident that it's not going to fall off during daily use. It's time for the bonus. Here we have my Xiaomi 20,000 milliamp hour charging brick, which makes this a fantastic companion for the InCharge 6. As you can see, I've been getting some very good use out of this brick. It's been through a long journey with me. The only issue I've had with this brick is that given its hefty capacity, it does take quite a while to charge when it runs out, but given how big it is, that is rarely ever. As we gear up for our charging test, I'll let you know that if you want to get your hands on either of these, I'm leaving a link for you below. Our first test will be the USB-C charging capability, and we're going to test it on this Soundtrack Pro Active Noise Cancelling headset, which I have done a review for if you're interested. So let's check it out. So we're going to plug in the USB-C cable, like so, and just like that, it is charging, as you can see by that bleeping LED. So that's a pass for USB-C. Our next charging test will be the lightning cable, and we're going to test it on these third gen AirPods, which I recently reviewed and compared their comfiness to the other models. So let's plug this in and see if we can charge. Check it out, the orange LED is on and we are golden. Our final test of the InCharge 6 cable will be this incredible micro USB embedded into the lightning cable. And we're going to test it on this Microsoft wireless Xbox controller, which we've also recently reviewed if you want to check it out. So we're going to know if this works if the controller vibrates. Let's find out. And that is a pass. Based on these results, the InCharge 6 has rightfully earned itself a position as part of my everyday carry, and it is also very worthy of the title of the Swiss Army Knife of Cables. As an EDC enthusiast, I'm leaving you with our EDC playlist. I'd also suggest that you subscribe so you don't miss our next EDC review. I'll leave you with one final recommendation that you're not going to want to miss. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next review.